here's what it says about the colors of the flag. And I wanna bring in my first, what if there was a system? Now the black lettering is very, very important against the yellow, gold, and blue background. And here's what the government of the Bahamas says about their flag. The symbolism of the flag is as follows. Black is a strong color and it represents the vigor and force of a united people. The yellow, gold, and the blue represent the natural resources of the sun and the sea. And that's what has built the Bahama people into the nation that they are. They were resourceful. They took these two magnificent resources and built a nation around it. So that's why we chose those colors. But now let me introduce to you, if there was a system that could help improve the in-class and the out-of-class lesson delivery, help improve classroom record keeping, help improve one-on-one -on -one student teaching strategies, help improve parent-teacher communication. There's a big one, folks. That's probably one of the biggest areas that I found so exciting about what you're gonna see because we've made it incredibly powerful to make those two connections. Another area, help improve that staff communication, peer-to-peer, teacher-to-teacher, department-to-department, staff-to-management providing multiple professional development resources. Every teacher has to go through this, just like nurses and doctors, we need to continue to find resources to help us to be better deliverers. Provide cross-cultural teaching experiences. We used to call it the old teacher swap. I was involved many years ago trying to go to New Zealand. I said, wow, wouldn't it be cool to teach there, learn that culture and bring a teacher over to my school and vice versa. Well, pretty expensive and pretty difficult. So now in today's world, we have a system that we can do that real time in a virtual world. May not be exactly perfect, but we can do so much now. How about provide additional credit assignments? I can remember we started these programs where high school students could start taking courses from colleges. Well, how about if your student could have a selection of colleges throughout the world and just with a click of, of, of a, excuse me, a click of a button, contract and take courses any part of the world, any teacher that is in the platform. If you want to learn Spanish 101, you can get a Spanish teacher and get accredited so that when you leave high school, you've already got credits toward your college degree. How cool is that? And how about money? I hate to say it, but it's not the solution of everything, but boy, is it a powerful tool. And we're gonna show you how you can provide continuous third-party funding for your district, your institution, or school. Think about that, ongoing, continuous. And then for the teacher and for the parents, for the staff, for anyone involved in that community, that school community, we're gonna show you a system that will provide two income sources. One with online video tutorial services that can be contracted out and two ongoing commission-based sales when the company on passive sells those tools and services to each and every one of the people who come on board this system. So those are the 10 major areas that I thought and a few others of us when we collaborated would be the way that we could present to the world and to your community, your school community, why they would want to look carefully at this system. It's an all-in-one educators platform. So you're going to get a system to where when you click open, you get all of what I just showed you and all of this comprehensive HR software, anything that you need for any kind of record keeping for your staff, your teachers, your students, your parents, whatever, right on one platform. Combined with curriculum development, you read it, go down the list, assignments, student progress, academic presentations, 
real-time interactive whiteboard. You can be teaching in class, videotaping, have your students who can't make it or they're on a um, bilateral selection or, or a schedule. In other words, they go Monday, Wednesday, Friday, week one. They go Tuesday, 30, week two. Guess what? Now you could be teaching real time. They can interact with whiteboards. They can talk to their students. They'll never miss a beat. That's so cool. Cross-cultural teacher partnering. Wow, would it be cool to be able to do cross-culture teacher partnering? So example, I'm teaching English and a partner teacher over in the Bahamas is going to teach history. And so we can collaborate time and curriculums. It, it, who wins? Everybody, especially your student. And then you see the rest, ongoing instructional video libraries. So that system, folk, is in place. It is being right now advertised all throughout the world, through social media, through ads in major cities. It is here and very close to becoming part of your system if you want it. And how is that? It's by the company on passive. Founder and CEO Ash Mufara came up with the idea of how could we collaborate systems to make the more perfect system. And what do I mean by that? How many stone wheel manufacturers do you see today? None but we still have the wheel. How many jalopies, you know, the old Model A's and the Model T's, how many of those do you see? Just a few, right, that have been restored? Most of us want a Maserati or whatever, or a nice comfort car. So you see the system is in place, but it has to be modified and it has to be improved as time goes on. So Mr. Mufara, he took a very close look at all of the systems that are working today in the AI, artificial intelligence, and IT information technology world. And he created this company. That's what we are, an artificial intelligence, information technology tech company. And if you go to www.onpassive.com, you will learn about all of the tools that are being produced right now. And we have many, many more to come. Let me talk about just four of these tools that are going to help your educational community prosper, not only in mind setting, but in monetary help for your district. So let's go to the Academy. That's our education platform. And just a couple things that will help that in-class and out-of-class delivery. No longer will students who can't make it to school miss out because they'll be able to use Academy as a platform where the teachers and the administrators can put all kinds of video instructional material and the student just has to go in, click, 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 and they're in. If they wanna learn from other sources, that's a pro that will be provided as well. And then how does that all connect for real time? Well, we have a webinar service called O Connect. Now remember, we aren't the only you know, show out there in the internet world. Lots of companies, but remember what we've done. We've taken the good, the bad, and the ugly. We really mixed it up and said, okay, what can we produce that will be what we feel the best, most efficient tools? Oh, connect with our webinar service, definitely help that real time one on one teaching strategy. And two, again, that most people don't realize how much it's needed to have that communication between the teacher and the parent and the student real time. And we can do that now. It doesn't matter what time of the day. So to eliminate the stress of all of what you're seeing is one of the big factors that Mr. Mufara has always showed us. If we can provide teachers and parents and all the people involved stress relief and they can gain time by all the different tools that will reduce input time, life gets better. So now I wanna show you O-Staff. This is probably 
as according to some of those who know about HR platforms, we probably have one of the most efficient HR platforms going. One, it'll help improve your classroom record keeping. I've said it time and time again, a teacher is nothing but a manager. And a manager needs a tool to upload all of the grading, all of those portfolio um, works that we have to put together for students. All of that has to be in a very easily accessible place. And now we have it, folks. Help improve your staff communication off the same platform. Click button, okay? Just a click of a button and all these different platforms come up. Peer-to-peer, -peer, department to department, staff to management. And then help improve all the necessary human resource record keeping. We're to, we got accounting, which will help with all of your invoicing, all of your payroll, you name it. O staff has it. That's why it's so powerful. And again, you can go to the um, onpassive.com and learn a lot more about it. Now, income. How is that going to happen? Now, when I bring this up, folks, I'm not going, going to go into depth. Please go back to the one who invited you, or we'll give you information. You can talk to me or one of the leaders that you see on the board. Become a founder. This is the key to making ongoing income 24 seven. What'll happen is that you will partner with the company as a founder or reseller. Founders now, or after we launch to the world, a reseller, you'll get many of the same benefits. And what it's going to provide are those two incomes. One, by using the platform Academy to where you can upload all of your video library material and contract to students anywhere in 200 countries around the world. So you could contract to somebody in India, Alaska, St. Kitts, wherever you want to, right on that one platform. So teachers, what a great way to take your expertise out of the classroom and why not take it to the world. And then while that's going on, with nothing with your effort, the company will set you up with a web page and a domain name, and they will start selling on passive products. You'll start getting commissions. So it's almost like having a third party retirement system. And for the school district, when we set this whole system up, and I'm going to show you exactly how it's going to work, the school system will start getting ongoing outside third party funding. 24-7. And now, I think this is probably the booster rocket in Mr. Mufara's mind for the world. Not only to the freedom of education for everyone that we can possibly reach, but also for any other type of blessings that you want to give to people. But let's stick with education. Suppose that you need $50,000 to get your students all the devices so this can happen. Well, OBLESS is an online crowdfunding program that is connected. Now listen to this, folks. Those of you who are new here, this is gonna be powerful. We are connected with OBLESS with 1.3 million people around the world. Just shy of that. We'll reach it soon, I'm sure. But now think about the power of that. You need $50,000. We set up what we call a campaign. We set the project up. We put it up to on passive under the OBLESS campaign um, portfolio. And guess what? A hundred or 1,300,000 people will start going through all of those campaigns. We as founders who are connected with this we can call out and say, look, we need $50,000. So with a click of a button, 50,000 founders can add a dollar to that campaign wallet. And voila, your school has $50,000 almost instantaneously. Just let that soak in. So whenever there's a need, we have a platform. And all we have to do is just reach out, create the campaign, and watch the funds come. Excuse me. 
Now, this is what I want all you educators to look at. And all of you folks who've come on board who have school districts where you live. We, we came up with an idea, a few of us, when I was visiting in the Bahamas. We decided that there's got to be a, a way that we can help the educational system. I have four grandchildren there. I'm very vested in, in them. And I want them to have every opportunity to choose what education they want. They got great schools in the Bahamas. Some of the private schools there, they're, they're incredible. But guess what? Very costly. All right. A lot of the um, circumstances in the last few years, and we'll get into that later, has really depleted a lot of the resources for many um, situations in the Bahamas. Education got hit huge. And then COVID came in, and that put another hammer on a lot of the resources. So what we did is we tried to collaborate. What solution is there that could solve that? And thank you, Mr. Mufara, we have the solution. So now we just had to focus on how it could work. So as of today, we have somewhere around 15, maybe 20 schools that I've kind of, and everything from daycares to a private college throughout four different islands in the Bahamas. So this is a system that's not a theory, it's working. And I know right now there's like, we just brought two more schools in the island of Eleuthera. And I think we're working with another school on Monday and it, it's just ongoing. So once it starts folks, it, it's just fun to watch. So here's the system, very simple. One, you find a key teacher, share the vision with them and sponsor them as a key teacher. Show them how simple it is to become a, a, a founder and then teach them the system. We're going to then sponsor, have the teacher sponsor or somebody else sponsor the school that that teacher is teaching in. And then we start reaching out to the teachers, the staff, the parents and friends of that educational community. And folks, once they see that there is hope and relief, it's not hard to get th this thing working. And that's what we did. It's just been fun. And what does it do finally? Well, it's going to help generate monthly incomes for all of the parties. Think about that. Ongoing incomes as time moves forward and the company launches our products. And we are so close. So right now we're just showing you how to reach out to your school community. Now, this is one elementary school in the, on the island of New Providence in the city of Nassau, Bahamas. This is real, folks, and it's real to the number until I couldn't see how many more were developing. So I'm, a, you know, I taught elementary school. Sorry about that. So you're getting elementary pictures, but I think they're powerful. So we found a key teacher. I asked that key teacher, pick a school, and so she did. And we found another key teacher and we sponsored the school. And then another teacher, we found some parents, we found some staff members and it just kept going and it kept going. And all of a sudden we found a sponsor in the United States that said, yeah, I'll sponsor a school. Whoa, and we kept going. And we just kept, it just, you know, it took about three months and we ended up with another school and now we're still building. So folks, that's how it goes. And now this is real time, just, just to put the icing on the cake. So we took that primary school and we found a gal who's on the panel right now. It took a while, you know, it was just oh, here, there, and here, there, and here, there. And then finally, one gal, she came in and she saw the fire and she found another gal. And then all of a sudden, you know, it, it just got uncontrollable. And you said, whoa, where did this go? And, and this is how it went for about three weeks. Then it slowed down. And, you know, we got to about this point right there. And boom. Then the system said, well, we can't show you anymore. But guess what? That was 66 people that became founders underneath that school. And I asked Darren... Uh, Lloyd, who's on the panel, who, who really was the one who, who got this thing fired up. 
And he said right now we're somewhere between 90, 95 founding positions feeding school systems throughout four islands in the Bahamas. Is that cool or what? Yep. So we know it works, folks. We just are so excited to share it with you. Multiple islands now, four islands, and we I'm sure we'll reach more. Uh, the Bahamians can tell you we're, we're down St. Kitts, uh, Turks and Caicos, all over the place. But it's just fun. So there it is. I'll leave it up there for a few seconds to sponsor a teacher, show them the vision. And then you don't have to have the teacher sponsor the school. Other, We've got people on the panel who have no connection at all to this, except for their desire to invest in people. And what better place to invest in is in the children of our next generation. So, you know, we've a lot of us here on the panel have done that. And we've, we've taken that desire. So think of this little nation, just like Papua New Guinea, a little nation who catches the fire, found a system, and we just provided now the solution on how that system can work. So folks, that's all I got. Um, I really appreciate your time. So right now, Marty, we'll, uh, 